This is a review of the topics we have covered this week. We have coordinates, simplifying algebra, and solving one-step equations. Coordinates. So question one says, part A, write down the coordinates of point A. With coordinates, we always write the X coordinate before the Y coordinate. So for point A here, it's X coordinate is four. So it's four along the X axis. So we say it's got an X coordinate of four. So it's a bracket, the four, then a comma, then the Y coordinate, which is negative three. So we write our coordinates in brackets, x, comma, y. So it's x coordinate is 4, it's 4 along the x, and its y coordinate is negative 3, it's 3 down the y-axis. Part B, write down the equation of the line shown on the grid. So there's a red line here. If we look at the coordinates of the points on this line, it's 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, and so on. All of the points on this line have got a y coordinate of 3. So we call a line y equals 3. Question 2. Write down the coordinates of the midpoint of the line CD. So where is the middle of the line that is shown on the grid? So to get from C to D, we go along 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we go along 6 and down 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I want the middle of the line, I'm going to go half way along. So instead of going 6 along, I'm going to go 3 along. 1, 2, 3. And instead of going 4 down, I'm going to be going 2 down. So there is the midpoint. That's the middle of the line. It's a long 3 down 2 and a long 3 down 2. So what are the coordinates? So the x coordinate first. And that's 1. And then the y coordinate, which is 2. So the center, the midpoint of the line, is 1, 2. Simplifying algebra. So the first question, 7a plus 2a. So a just means a number that we don't know. It can be any number. So if we've got 7a's plus 2a's, what do we have? We've got 7 lots of a number plus two lots of a number, that means we've got nine lots of a number. If you've got seven of something and two of something, you've got nine of it. Question two says 7a times 2a. 7a means seven times a. 2a means two times a. So we've actually got seven times a times 2 times a. But we don't write the time signs in algebra. We can simplify this by multiplying the 7 and 2 together. So we can change the order. If we switch the, this 2 and this a around, we can say that's the same as 7 times 2 times a times a. 7 times 2 is 14. And a times a, we can write as a squared. If we've got a number multiplied by itself, we can say that's squared. 4 times 4 is 4 squared. 5 times 5 is 5 squared. So a times a is a squared. So we've got 14 times a squared. But we don't write the time sign in algebra. So we write 14 a squared. For question three, we need to know we can only add things that are the same. So here we've got a squareds, two a squared terms, 
and two a terms. a squared and a are not the same number. They're different. So we can't add them together, but we can add our a squareds and our a's. So for a squareds, we've got 12a squared minus, take away, 3a squared. We're always taking the sign from in front of a term. So this negative is attached to this 3a squared. 12a squared, take away 3a squared. 12 of something, take away 3 of something, is 9 of something. So 12a squared, take away 3a squared, is 9a squared. And we've got 1a, this is 1a, plus 5a's. 1 plus 5 is 6, so we've got 6a's. And for the next one, we've got bc terms, and we've got b terms. 8 bc's take away 4 bc's. 8 take away 4 is 4, so we've got 4 bc's. And we've got negative 9b take away another 1b. Negative 9 take away 1 is negative 10. Okay, four for you to try, so give them a go. Question one, m times m times m times m. We can write that as m to the power of four. So if we had five times five, that's five squared. Five times five times five, we call five cubed. And 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, we can say is 5 to the power of 4. So in the same way, m times m times m times m is m to the power of 4. The second one is m plus m plus m plus m. So again, if we had 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, if we had four fives plus together, we can say that's the same as four times five. So four m's added together is the same as four times m. And we don't write the time sign, so it's four m. Question three, we're collecting like terms. So we've got g terms and h terms. We've got 15g take away 1g, which is 14g, and 6h take away 8h, 6 take away 8 is negative 2. So it's 14g minus 2h. And we've got t squared terms and t terms in the last question. 11 t squareds plus 1 t squared makes 12 t squareds. And we've got negative 5 t plus 6 t. Negative 5 plus 6 is 1. So we've got 1 t. We don't write 1 t, we just write t. t means 1 t. Solving equations. An equation tells us that two things are equal. So in the first one, we've got r plus 11 is equal to 17. To solve the equation, we find out what the unknown number is. So r in the first question. Because both sides of the equation are equal, if we do the same thing to both sides, it stays equal. So I can take 11 away from both sides and the equation will stay equal. And the reason I'm taking 11 away is to get R by itself. So the opposite of adding 11 is taking away 11. So that tells me that R is 17 take away 11, which is six. For the second one, we've got D minus eight equals 23. The opposite of taking away 8 is adding 8. So if I add 8 to both sides, 
I get D equals 23 plus 8, which is 31. And question 3, 4P equals 36. 4P means 4 times P. The opposite of multiplying by 4 is dividing by 4. So P equals 36 over 4, which is 9. Okay, three for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. For the first one, we've got K plus 6 equals 19. To get K by itself, we can subtract 6 from both sides. So K is 19 take away 6, which is 13. F minus 17 equals 5. To get F by itself, we can plus 17 to both sides. So F is 5 plus 17, which is 22. And the third one, we've got H divided by 2 equals 20. To get H by itself, we can do the opposite of dividing by 2, which is timesing by 2. So if we times both sides of the equation by 2, we get H equals 40. So that was our week 4 review. There is an assessment now available. The link will be in the description or if you're watching on the website at the bottom of the page.